G'day guys, Tim from Redback Lasers. Um, we're going to have a quick look over the PL650s. I've just been denailing some boards from a reno job we've been doing at home. Just bear with me a sec. So I've got a, a length of 140 or 150 mil pipe to um, help demonstrate the pipe laser. And we've got our pipe laser, the green pipe laser, the PL650 there. So you see it comes in the sturdy carry case. Um, you've got your targets for up to 500mm pipe um, and your target holder, which we're going to use that target there with the 150mm setting because we're using 150mm pipe. The PL650, um, we need our remote control. Now also in the kit there, you've got your recharger for your rechargeable battery, which is already installed in the laser, and a battery caddy for standard batteries to get you out of the out of the shit on site if you do run shorter batteries. You have different size feet for the laser depending on what size pipe you're um, putting it in. We're putting that into 150 mil pipe. The feet that sit on in the box are for 200 mil pipe. So I'm going to take those out and just use that without feet. Now you'll notice the two front feet They've just got steel and the back two back feet have got that rubber boot over them. We know which ones to put them on. If we look at the, the, the threads there, we've got steel there and then a rubber boot on those. That's just to help stabilize the laser. So with all the, um, the feet, you'll see there's two steel and two rubberized. So I'll set that there. I'm gonna put that aside. So obviously you'd be down in a trench and I've got the pleasure of working at um, waist height. We're going to put that pipe just up on that stabiliser there. So as I said that will go straight inside of that pipe. So we slot the laser in. Now if we power it on, um, its last setting was set at zero. The, the pipe laser will go back to its last setting before it was powered off. So if you're running sewer at 1.67% angle and you power it off, it's going to be at 1.67 when you start it up again. If we look at the back of the laser, there's a spirit vial, and you've, we just need to adjust that laser left or right to get that electronic spirit vial showing level. Okay, so I've got that level there. With the um, laser target, I've set that at my 150 mark. I'm going to put that in facing me, so I've got the spirit vial showing me, and I can see um, that I've also got that laser target level and as you can see now we've got the laser dot that's um, aiming just up and off to the right of the laser target now using the arrows on the remote control I'm going to shift that laser across oh, wrong way okay so now we're, we're down the center line it's not hitting the center because we don't know what fall that pipe's on it's showing us where levels at so we could adjust that pipe up and get it level if we want to the truth is we want to set this at a one at a one in 64, which is your standard sewer. So if we go down to the other end and look at our laser itself, if we um, select the set button and scroll across, it's at a, a minus fall. So we are falling the laser in a minus fall. Hit set across until we get to the, the one and or the first zero. So that's one set again, brings us over past the point. So one point, I'm going to scroll up, oops, six, scroll one more time across, scroll up to the seven, okay, we've got, and then hit enter. Okay, that laser's now going to um, set that grade, the percentage was flashing, so it was setting. Come back to the other end and look at our laser target. The laser's already adjusted itself down to that fall. So before the laser dot was above the, um, the crosshair, now it's below. So if we want to go ahead and adjust that pipe to the right fall, I've got some, um, some packers there. So if I get rid of that, put some packers on. So obviously I've shifted the pipe, but the, laser, the pipe laser's set inside the pipe, so it's just moving with me. It's re-leveling back to grade. So at the moment it's showing I need to 
to bring the, the pipe down a little bit further, so I'll take out a couple of those packers. Okay, it's re-leveling again. Now we're going to go the other way, so we're going to put a packer back in. Okay, so now we've got our laser shooting into the centre of the bullseye of our laser target. And we can now fill that pipe and move on to our next pipe and install our next section. We've also got the PL650G with the green beam pipe laser. Does enhance visibility a little bit more. Uh, not necessarily recommended for hotter climates as those laser diodes do operate at a higher temperature and so they will dim out at a, at a lower temperature than the red beams do. But we can go along and set the green beam up and um, have a look at the difference in visibility of that green beam. So if you just bear with me a sec. So we've set the PL650G up on the same grade and if you have a look there at the laser target you can see the same deal. It's 150mm um, target inside the 150mm pipe centralise the beam to the crosshair. Um, otherwise all operations of that PL650G is identical to the PL650s um, with the red beam. The red beam we just find gives a bit more stability at higher temperatures. So as you can see as always, got to get a red back. If you like these videos, please subscribe.